Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make pause free campaign we go about looking at why sometimes like you know you see cable charging despite fast charging being turned on or why sometimes this fast charging fails so today's tutorial was about making you understand like why this happens and then perhaps knowing what may help fix it so on one hand i have like this is the oneplus charger which supports the warp charging so the phone gets fully charged from 0 to 100 percent in 30 45 odd minutes and then we have the samsung fast charger so like this again helps the new devices like you know in this case this is basically the m51s so m51 sorry m51 gets charged in relatively one hour something and this is basically the oneplus and the oneplus nord this is this gets charged in around I believe 45 odd minutes now before we begin it's very important to understand like two three things every charger like suppose I'm talking of this charger it contains like you know the charger in itself and the, like this cable so this adapter and this cable one very common thing that I have seen people kind of miss out is this connection so if this connection is tightly established then you will see that the cable charging goes and the fast charging comes back now this may fix the problem for most of you so just kind of you know if this is loose what will happen is that it may be cable charging and if you can just fix it tightly you will see that the connection being established it is now capable of supplying 5 volt to amperes or 5 volt you know more amperes like depending on what your battery needs so I now take you to the next very important thing see what happens is if I can just zoom in a bit I don't think this will zoom in well I will just tell you like what happens what's written here that this charger needs a certain input current or voltage flowing through it and once that happens this is the Samsung charger this will then be capable of supplying 5 volt 2 amperes or 5 volt 1.6 amperes depending on what the battery of your mobile needs so point here is like if you get a local amazon charger despite them writing like whatever they may write here it's quite possible that the inner device circuit or the peripherals is not capable of giving this required outage so don't go ahead and just buy a local one in case you are figuring that this is having issues go and try and replace this adapter with a new one and see now whether this one is actually capable of firing your device like you know with the fast charging things so this was another point that i wanted to make now like i said there is one more thing this is basically the charger cable sometimes this things get bust and i have seen amazon basics have some beautiful ones they are very durable so you can just go ahead and check like if you can buy one of this and if that helps solve the issue so you can just remove this and then put in the new one and again this connection should be tightly achieved because 90 percent of the cases is not this or this getting bust it's basically this connection which you see this connection should not be loose it should be very tight and then like you know this may work so this is what i wanted to kind of make a tutorial upon and the last thing before we leave i mean i want to obviously show you from the front side but i also want you to tell you something if you see any of the charges just read what it writes and just read what it writes regarding the input so the input should be having sufficient power so in this particular case it says that the input should have 100 to 240 volts and 50 to 60 hertz or 0.5 amperes at least flowing through it so in case see if you i will just switch the camera you have a powerpoint plug like this and say this is not capable or sufficient enough just try switching and seeing if the new powerpoint cables do provide you with that facility and last but not the least if you are a samsung device you can always go to the settings you can go to like you know device care and you can just see whether this setting is turned on or not it should be turned on always but despite this being turned on it may not support fast charging and like i already said like if this is the battery you should ensure that this connection this connection is tightly there and if that everything is failing then try changing this because this should be able to supply 5 volt 2 amperes depending on what the battery here is so in this is a locally made one or maybe for this is the oneplus nord here and if you have bought some local thing which is not capable of supplying the required outage maybe that won't work but the idea here is most of the times 
this thing like you know this connection is not there you just make it a lo loose one and then it becomes like you know a cable charging instead of fast charging just make it a tight one and it should work and i'm i don't know whether this is a solution or not but like uh, i will just let you know one thing like you can always go to like you know your about phone your battery information uh, sorry not the battery information the software information click on the build number several times so that like the developer mode is turned on eight times to be precise and then when you go to your settings you have the developer options inside developer options you can go to default usb configuration and here like you can switch it on to charging phone only that may be for like you know it may be for oneplus it may be for other things so that in case your phone is not charging and it has some juice still left you can try this but this is like in case the device is not getting juiced up it's not getting like you know it's not getting charged at all so i'll just repeat the steps like what i said like any charger will have like you know this three things so this is basically the charger the adapter itself the charger cable and the third thing is not a thing i basically want to make it clear that it's basically the connection that i'm referring to between the head of the charger cable and the charger this thing needs to be very tight then like what i said is once the connection is tightly established this should work if in case it's not working just try checking whether your and this basically your adapter is a local one or like it has the required capacity because you need 5 volt to amperes most of this like it will write fast charging and everything but it may be like inside circuit or peripherals may not be sufficient enough because if you see like i can now zoom in and show it to you i will just zoom and i will just show what it needs so it needs 100 to 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz or 0.5 amperes and it should be able to supply your output of 5 volt 2 amperes which is very much needed otherwise this fast charging won't work right so likewise like if this is the node which i am talking about so node also like you know it supports the fast charging but then like in case like this thing which you see here if it's not given the right amount of current so it will not be able to provide the right amount of output as well which in this case happens to be this which is written out here 5 volt 2 amperes or like depending on 5 volt 6 amperes depending on what is needed for this battery to be charged at the uh, for the warp charging levels so hopefully i help today i mean i just hope that your concept is pretty clear and you should be able to understand and appreciate rather why sometimes the device goes from like you know fast charging to cable charging so try doing all of this let us know what works for you so guys like always i would just make a small request that in case you like our work please consider subscribing to our channel because we make a lot of investment in all these things so that we can try out things and make your life a little easier and really over time like i've realized how some of our solutions have really helped you all like in getting your devices to work properly or maybe sometimes charging to work properly your subscription your sharing our content with others really help us your small words of motivation help us to make more such tutorials please understand that we are not making fake videos or something we are playing around with things and then we when we think that we have actually understood something and come across a certain solution we present that in the form of such tutorials and i hope like when i make such practical things some of them may actually go ahead and help you guys so thank you so much for again tuning into this channel and i just hope that you now understand the whole charging perspective and how you can perhaps get back your warp your fast or your ultra fast super fast or whatever you may call it until next time it's me signing off i hope to see you soon thank you